Dear Journal, I was at a park looking for a place to hide a cache, and I got to thinking and to talking, but it took me some time to get my point across because I am easily distracted. Like the last time I was here, when I thought I saw someone's ritual suicide setup, but it was, in fact, two people trying to engage in the act of copulation. Oh, shit, there are people there. My bad. So, in the comforts of my own home, I condense my thoughts and words into more human-relatable concepts. I wish I could do fancy animations or had the time and access to get proper related stock photos and footage, but meh, I just wanted to get this out of my head, so have some pleasant bike ride video. Think of this more as a podcast short than a YouTube audio-visual affair. Now, I forget which video, but I remember suggesting that when I am Lord Supreme God of Geocaching, published caches should have a set lifespan. Then they get removed and make way for new caches. I have refined that idea to this. When you submit a cache, you are also registering it. Everything works the same as it does right now, except you must submit a picture of all your physical placements. That's right, if you have a 50-stage power trail, you need 50 pictures of your 50 different hiding areas to be included in your submission. I don't think it's standard practice currently to require a picture of your hide, but in my New World Order, you will not have your submission accepted if you do not include a picture. Not just to prove that everything is on the up and up, but also to establish a baseline. That's because every two years, you will be required to renew your registration or go and remove your cache. That's right, you can keep your cache going indefinitely, as long as you can prove you are around and at least active enough to not let your caches go without maintenance. Every two years, don't care if it's one stage or a hundred, if it has a physical location, it needs a click crack that, that was a pitiful camera noise, I apologize. Uh, I guess no one uses Kodak cameras anymore either. So, the point is, some of you are slobs. I'm not judging. Uh, maybe you're one of those fire and forget hiders that's perhaps too impulsive with the camouflage tape pill bottles, hmm? And with the proliferation of cell phones, I don't want to hear that you don't have access to a camera. I'm just gonna talk about a big pro and a big con and wait for the intellectual discourse that will follow in the comments. <clears throat> the big pro is obviously thinning out those unmaintained caches and inactive COs or people that should not have been COs in the first place. There, I said it, some of you suck, I'm sorry. But yeah, finders will get fresh hides in their area because new and or more responsible COs will no longer be lock and lock blocked by that broken, soggy M&M tube from the CO that has three finds but seven hides and hasn't been around since 2019 but cashers passing through keep the listing pointlessly and unmercifully alive by never pulling the trigger on a needs archiving, despite the cash being full of nothing but pulp for the last eight months. Breathe, man. Con. A shit ton more work for the volunteers. I don't expect them to analyze every photo for all possible infractions, but they should be able to add to and reference the pictures should some issue arise. I'm not trying to make more work for you. Don't hate me. I'm trying to force a sense of responsibility to some of these cash owners, hmm? Maybe have separate reviewers for that sort of thing. I'm sure some people would love to do this. I mean, it takes all sorts to run a village underneath the watchful eye of Skimbush. I suppose those picks would require space, which could mean an increase in premium subscriptions, and God knows I don't want to give those people that bitch about the price of premium something else to go on about, but I am willing to go the extra dimes myself to improve the overall game experience. Man, you might think, this will create a lot of cash trash. Archive caches where the physical items are never removed because the CO just fucked off to wherever. But to be fair, this was always a problem, even before the New World Skimbosh order, and that's a whole separate issue. Okay, yes, I know that's one pro to three cons, but avert your eyes from behind the Skimbosh curtain! I mean, what a pro it is. I've said it before and I will say it again, three million caches worldwide should not be a bragging point just yet with the state of a lot of these caches. You might think I'm being a bit draconian, but I truly believe this new system would improve the game. So vote with your heart, vote for geocaching, Vote Skimbosh. No, sorry, I'm going now. I still haven't found a good spot for a cache, again, with the last time I was here at the park, but it was right before a storm, and I do so enjoy nature when she starts in this way, so I want to share. Nature! Well, enough of that. So, do you have any thoughts on my ideas? Do you agree or disagree? And more importantly, do you think those people were ever able to uh, do their, uh... Hummina, hummina, hummina. Hey! Uh, pass me that hammer! Woof! Woof! Uh, I'm sorry. Chickas! <laughs> I'll stop. I'm leaving.